fellas. Here we go again. Uh, took it outside. Filled everything up. Everything was solid. Everything on the side over here. No leaks at all. Idled for a good 20 minutes or so. Got up to operating temperature. And then slowly started creeping back up. Because guess what never opened. Yep, the thermostat. So, we... Uh, I just filmed this since I had it out, but this is where it goes under here. See that there? Pops right in there. Should come with the gasket already on there. And um, just want to make this known because here it looks like, you know, usually it's on the top one. That's, I mean, I'm a small lock Chevy guy, so that's where they go. But the lower radiator hose is the one that gets it. A little bit different with this North Star action. Why not? Everything else has been too, right? I mean, we put the starter under the intake, so forget about it. But here you go. It opens up right there, pops right in. Pretty easy to tell me 10 millimeter bolts. And you should be all set. And then I'll top everything back off. Take two after that. All right, guys, I wasn't going to add to this because it was a simple flush and fill. But after not being able to find the petcock on this thing, if you see here, this is where the coolant drains out of and this is what they call the access point right behind it so I'm supposed to go in here and be able to get back to here and twist the pet cock now you see the opening okay you can't even reach it you try to come from behind here you're not even you're not even close as far as you can get in there so we have to make some kind of tool to get in there I don't know if they sell a special one or not but just want to show you guys that in case you you know, find yourself working on one of these North Stars. First off, I'm sorry if you are, because, wow. But, yeah, so if you got to drain it, that's where it's at. And, uh, I wish you luck. Alright, so, uh, figured out how to gain access to this pet cot. Remember before, there was a hole. There's one right here. Another one right here. So we just zoop, zoop, die grinder, connected them, and you can get access. There it is, it's ripping out, obviously. Um, you still, I follow the edges, and so you don't cut your fingers, don't reach it in there. And it's still pretty tight, so what I did, had a cheapo T-handle, put a little, little cut in it, and you come right up in here, and then zoop, open and close it. Easy day. Price is right, you know, free. Uh, cheap tool I had laying around and deleting a little bit of metal. And uh, yeah, you can get in there. A little life hack there for uh, dealing with these curveballs, these Cadillacs like to keep throwing at you all day. As you can see, got everything back together here. Air box is on there. Upper hose is there. We got the lower hose hooked back up. Wiring, computer, whole shooting match. Uh, you can also see it's pretty dark outside. Crickets going, all those things that go bump in the night, right? I said this should be pretty easy. And if you believe me, you obviously have not been paying attention to this video so far. So, I can't look at this. It's got a little bleed port up top of this little check valve thing here on this thermostat. And that's got to be on the top. That's the way it bleeds properly. There it goes to the top, right? I didn't even look to see if this had it on it. I didn't think. I should have because right here, external canister, pressurized system. Obviously, it's got that. I didn't think about it. So, opened it back up to make sure I did it right. And I did. So, instinctively, I put it in the right spot. But I wasn't sure. And after all this crap going on with this car, I wanted to make sure it's done right. So... Now that I ensured it is, it's creeping up on midnight, so I'm, I'm done with this thing for today. So, come back down here tomorrow morning. We'll uh, top fluids off again. Take another shot of this test drive. All right, now there's one guy watching this that's like, that thermostat ain't going to fix it. And guess what? It didn't. So, now we're looking at this. It's a self-bleeding system. So this is supposed to be the purge valve. Uh, you can see the hole here at the end of this. Apparently that gets pretty clogged up. 
I pulled that out, ran a drill through it. You see I cleaned it all up on the edges there because there was crap in it, there's no doubt. Then I blew this line out and you can see that line comes over here and you know, so basically you're supposed to be getting the return there. You're supposed to get a lot back into the, the reservoir there and it's not working. They weren't getting anything. So the, I was getting a low coolant light, but my coolant level was high and then the car's overheating but that reservoir is still cold. So obviously it's not going through. Um, this is the crap that came out of those lines, that, that, that purge line. So there's a lot of stuff in there. Hoping I fixed it and uh, yeah, wish me luck. All right guys, you've been paying attention to this video. You already know that the purge line didn't fix it because why would it, right? So, take another look at this thing and see what's going on. All right, so I figured the only thing left was the water pump. So I'm like, okay, went ahead, ordered the water pump. It's right here, gaskets and whatnot. And of course, it's a Cadillac, North Star at that. Need a special tool to pull the water pump. So I bought that. And that's what I planned on doing today. And then I started looking at this. You guys see it in there? It's right here. It's a belt. There's a lot, of, a lot of videos online about these things overheating. Nobody ever looks at this. It's the water pump belt. Obviously not engaged. That's probably my problem. And I've overlooked it. I don't know. You guys are watching this thing. What? How many times now? Three, four, six, twelve. I lost count. So I'm going to open that up. See if I get a new water pump belt on there before I dive back into the whole pulling that all apart and bleeding it again and all that kind of crap. So uh, see how this goes. You guys already know I got all these new parts here, water pumps, all this kind of stuff. So let me uh, see what they got look like in here. Went over them real quick. Just uh, I found the uh, amazing discovery I found. But um, what are we looking at here? Gasket for the housing. I'm still gonna change these parts. I mean, they're in there. I look at the bottom plate on the water pump, it's pretty rusted, so now we'll see what's going on with that. Take care of it. There's a seal for the uh, water pump itself. The old Rock Auto ga uh, magnet. Look at that, it's got a G body on there. I might have one of those. Maybe I will get one, let's see. And here's the water pump, AC Delco, right? We put the GM. Look at this little guy. So cute. Just bring your pocket, carry it around with you for no reason, I guess. But see, there's a, there's that pulley, and uh, this water pump's pretty simple. Goes in there. However, it's not that simple. And it came with a gasket. Sweet. Bought a gasket for nothing. Well, I got two gaskets. What are you gonna do? Bucket. Because it's a North Star. You gotta have this guy. Can't do it without this little guy. Well, I'm sure you probably could. Or it wouldn't be right. Wouldn't be fun. Here we go. We got ourselves an OEM tool. Water pump socket. So, what we got here? So it appear, this little guy. Goes into this little guy. Goes in, clicks like one fifth a turn or something like that. And then clicks back. That's that. Uh, Deadbeat custom. Oh, this is even for this. This, uh. Oh, yeah. This is. The FXR. Something I enjoy working on. Um, yeah, it's a little bag for the bars. And for some reason, a giant card. So, yeah, let's put it on there. Throw registration, all that stuff, and that. That's look good on there. I'll shoot a picture or maybe make a quick little video what that looks like on there, what I think about it, whatever. But it's got really good reviews already, so that's cool. Um, on this stuff. All right, guys, as you can see here, we got uh, upper hose out of the way here. And there, tied it off over here. 
lower hose right here, zip tied out of the way. Tried to get as much stuff as I could out of the way. We got some harnesses that kind of see everything. Here's that bottom bolt right there. You can't even see it, let alone, you know, so kind of felt my way through that one, got that out, and uh, it's probably gonna be real fun getting back in. But uh, you know, once you break it loose, you can pretty much get it out of the rest of the way by hand. So that's uh, how I did that. So I figured I'd uh, go ahead and record this here as I remove this water pump because it's not something you see every day, right? It's uh, you got a special handy dandy tool here. And uh, you do here, you get it on the water pump. It's not one in the water now. There we go. Let it fall into place. And then uh, this will be it. Yeah, that's all it is, so no reason to muscle it, I guess. And then it's supposed to come right there. Yeah, it doesn't come out. All right, let's see what we're doing wrong here. This one do it. No. All right. All right, guys, I had a cut there because, uh, I'm trying to keep this, you know, family oriented and I was about to toss some stuff. Got it out. Um, we weren't doing anything wrong. It was seized in there. So I tried to tap it to kind of break it loose. And then I, well, you can see by the nose cone there. Then I started hitting it a little harder. And I don't know if I recommend this or not, but uh, that's what got her done. Put the this here on this and uh, tried a couple quick short blasts with it to break it loose, it wasn't going. And then I just uh, swung for the fences with it and it popped off. I was concerned because it's, you see it's aluminum. But uh, I mean there's some give in there I guess and it didn't, uh, didn't seem to break anything, everything's uh, you know, as it should be. So we'll put that back in. So when you're doing this, clockwise. Clockwise to get it out, counterclockwise to put it in. Because it's a North Star, so everything's just back. I'm sure it has to do with the belt rotation, really. But just think it's a Cadillac North Star. Everything's backwards. And this is what your parts come out looking like because yeah, it, was just, it was corroded in there. Like you see, I made a good call change anyways. We know it wasn't leaking. It still spun good. But I don't know if that started buying up. Maybe that's what caused the belt. Maybe the belt just went bad. But hey, good news. We got to reuse the belt. Check this out, huh? Yeah. Ingenuity. We tied her up here to keep that thing out of the way. Um, so, yeah, pay no attention to the uh, mini sledgehammer there that I was using to try and... Probably wasn't the best tool, but uh, we got her done. It's out, and uh, we're going to put that new one in. A little point to make here, guys. Uh, let's see, let's see right here. There was a gasket in there, or a seal, rather, for O-ring that went in that groove there come out in about 300 pieces so here it is right here see it's all it's hard it was kind of burned in there real good so you got to get that out of there and you can see over here it was also kind of burnt into the back of the old water pump so when you're doing that you want to make sure you get it all out of there otherwise it's not going to seed in there and make sure all those little pieces don't end up in your uh, cooling system so Time consuming. I used a pick, got it all out of there, went back over there, blew everything out. So just something to, something to think about there. Also, one of the things that might have helped, I don't I can't say that it would have, but you see right here, there's another part of the tool. And it uh, see here it goes in, screws into these two holes here, and just holds that thing in there so it doesn't pop off like it kept doing to me. Uh, they say it's definitely helpful. I can see where it could be. Um, I don't know who carries it. Every time I Googled or anything or looked around and wherever to get it, just this is the only thing that came up, the socket. Not that bracket to hold it down. I'm sure you could make something. Um, trying to hold it in there is about impossible. 
when it starts sliding off there. So we'll see if we have the same problem putting it back in. I hope not. But, um, well, if I do, you'll know about it. Well, good news, man. We're back to uh, looking at reassembly here. We got the uh, water pump in right here. New belt. Uh, pretty easy here for the belt. You gotta take the tensioner just about off. You take this guy here, 10 millimeter. Another 10 millimeter right here. Just loosen this one. Take that one out. This thing will flip out of the way forward. You can fish it down to underneath the water pump. Around here, put it back together. You gotta kind of slide it through over here too. And uh, that's it, you're on. Yep, 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter and 13 millimeter. I think you can take this whole car apart. Really looking forward to getting back to some standard stuff. All right guys, check it out right there. All the Cadillac crap is done. So, uh, we had a good weekend. Took the old FXR out for the rip. That was good. Uh, while I was out, got to ride a shovel head, which is good because you guys see mine's still on the, it's up there. So, you know, we take what we can get, right? So now we got this guy done. All back together, ready to go. All right. Um, and we're going to end it on a high note because. I still got to take it out, do that test drive on it, and we know that's failed before. But we're going to end on a high note, man. That's just how I'm going to do it. It's Sunday night. A little hungry. I'm going to get upstairs, get something to eat. And it's just up tomorrow after work, take it out. It's going to be good. Or it's getting traded in. We'll see. Done. Thank God. So, yeah, I'm all finished. Uh, the car's good. Took it on a test run, flawless. Uh, ran to get some parts for the next project, flawless again. Changed a lot of stuff I didn't need to change. Um, basically, we changed on the last video. Let's call it preventive maintenance. Let's just do that. Um, not that I was throwing parts at something that wasn't broken, because that's kind of what I did. But. Um, I wasn't there, like I said, when it broke. I was told that side there was a leak coming out there. All the water, all the uh, heater hoses were there. I figured that's what it was. It wasn't that. Um, what I believe happened is this belt snapped, overheated the car. Everything puked out of the, the cooling tank over there, and you know, to, caused uh, caused the kid to misdiagnose it. Gave me that information. I ran with it and uh, chased the ghost for a little while. But you know what? We're done. It's good. Cars weren't great. Uh, kids got to have it back now. He loves it. He stopped driving his mother's car around. And um, I can work on stuff I actually want to work on. So everybody's happy. Everybody wins. So just um, want to say thanks. I know uh, you guys stuck around through some of that there. And uh, well, it might be kind of fun to watch me get my ass whipped. I really didn't have a good time with it, but hopefully somebody learned something, somebody laughed at me, whatever, I don't care. Um, thanks a lot, guys. Like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, tell a friend, the whole thing, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.